Hi all, welcome to this week's newsletter. Uh, this week, again, really looking at some basics uh, as a quick tip for you. Um, most important part of the golf swing starts from a good grip and still see huge amounts of handicapped golfers with quite poor grips. Uh, the way in which they place their hands on the club is not difficult, but it's difficult once you get into a bad habit and depending on where the grip is on the club, then reflects on the type of shot you will naturally get. But unfortunately, what we, happen to have, what we do then is we hit shots and we might see it go left, we might see it go right, due to our poor grip. And then we start to compensate in one way or the other to try and make sure that the club face still comes back pointing in the right direction. And that compensation then causes uh, the wrong angles of the body through the swing and then most importantly through impact and then causes further problems like poor striking, uh, maybe even some health problems where it hurts your back uh, because you're able to compensate so hard. So I wanted to first of all just try and hit a couple of shots uh, with two different types of grip. I'll honestly put the same uh, swing on it as normal and, and see what straight away it does. I'll put them on the grip on uh, in two ways, in quite an obvious way for the purpose of the uh, kind of experiment, if you like. Um, but yeah, quite interesting as to what may happen. Okay, so first of all, you know, as, as I'm sure you all know, but let's just go over it one more time. You know, with the club face, making sure it's in the right position as we hold the club, we really want to make sure that as we place the top hand on, in my case, the left hand, being a right hander. I can see, as a small handed person, I can see one, two, and almost a half a knuckle of my third knuckle on my left hand. And from that position there, the, the line between my thumb and forefinger is kind of up at my right side of my face. Okay? And then when I bring my right hand in, I tend to overlap the grip. Some people interlock, there's no problem which way you do that there, whichever's most comfortable to you. And then the right hand comes in, overlapping the little finger on top of the index finger of the left hand and then the last three remaining fingers the shaft runs through the middle stroke base of those fingers as it works towards the last finger before the little finger on my right hand and through the middle joint of my index finger I then try and make sure I close the palm over my left thumb so that left thumb is now hidden from my sight. But again, as I bring the right hand on at that right angle, not too far this way, not too far that way, that V between the thumb and the forefinger is up towards the right shoulder. That gives us a neutral grip. And basically, what does a neutral grip mean? So basically, we have the hand sitting on the club in a natural way from way, the way the arms fall down from our shoulders. So when I swing naturally back and swing back down again, my hands return to the same position, but most importantly, my club face is still pointing in the right direction. So let's take that into a, one of the bad grips that I see. And that's mainly a too strong a grip. It's probably the probably, you know, most frequently poor grip that I see. And here you can see with my hands, I've got good four knuckles showing here. The line between my thumb and forefinger is very much lower than my right shoulder. And the right hand coming in in a similar position with the, the line between my thumb and forefinger really drawing a line beneath my right shoulder. So what we term as a strong grip, and the reason for that is, as I swing back, I swing back down, my hands and arms have now returned to that neutral position where they want to naturally return to but now you can see what's happened to the club face. It's very, very much pointing to the left of the target. Okay, so I'm now gonna hit a shot with that same grip. And try and demonstrate, hopefully you've got to see that, that shot on the screen. I'm, best, I'm guessing it's gonna be a hook. There we go, straight away. Didn't read the club path that brilliantly, but if I bring you up to my other screen here, 
you can see where it says horizontal, which pretty much represents your club face impact. And mine's saying 9.4 left. You can obviously also see what the ball flight has been as well. Uh, so yeah, a big old pull to the left. Okay, so that was with a strong grip with a grip too far around to the right hand side for a right hander. And now I'm gonna do that same, same shot, but rather than with the strong, rather than the neutral grip, I'm gonna put a, a weak grip on. So you can see my hands are too far to the left side of the club here now. I swing back, I make my natural swing down into towards the ball. The hands return to that nice neutral position and my club face is left very open or pointing to the right. So we can guess where this one's gonna go. Okay, so you can probably see the shot on the screen. Again, I'll just bring this up. For you to see closer on the monitor here. Again, you can see where it says horizontal, the club face was a good four or five degrees open. And we've got a shot equal distance to the right of the target. And as you can probably see from my swing, it felt pretty horrible as well to try and put the club back on the ball uh, with a grip feeling quite so horrendous. So just a quick showing of the importance of the grip without me building any uh, compensation factors in to try and make the ball go straight. With that in mind, to try and show you how, say, from a strong grip point of view, how I'd need to go about trying to hit the ball straight, you can then hopefully see on this shot what compensating factors I have to put into my golf swing to try and keep the club face from pointing left at impact. I've really had to curtail my, my through swing. Um, again, you can't quite see the screen there on the camera. More of a close up of the shot. I've just hit the emboldened golden one there. Um, so with that strong grip, I really had to try and hold off, which you'd have probably seen in the swing. My follow through really curtail that, stop my body from really getting involved. And even then it was a real fight not to hit it to the left side of the, of the fairway. So obviously after you've repeated that a few times, that follow through, that curtailed arm swing, the body falling back to try and block and hold the club face open through impact, starts to become the norm, which you may be experiencing yourself. When you start to change the level of your body that amount to make up for the poor quality grip, it then starts to eventually affect your strike. Uh, and as much as it should naturally go to the left, you start compensating so much that it ends up starting to go to the right as well as the left. <clears throat> and then you've really got that army, army golf going backwards and forwards. Okay, so just refreshing. No more than two, two and a half knuckles on that left hand. The V's between the thumb and the forefinger on both hands, we really don't want to see much past the right hand side of your face anything more than that to the right, and that club face is naturally wanna, gonna wanna come back pointing to the left, and you'll be experiencing low and left shots to start with. And again, vice versa, if we get the hands too far over to the left side of the grip, what we term as a weak position, because it makes the club face weakened, we'll start to naturally see high, soft, weak shots to the right, until we start to maybe compensate in some, some way to help square that club face up, and again, lose your strike and distance, etc. Um, and become frustrating. So make sure that grip's on correct. Even if you go through three or four or five weeks of, of pain in trying to correct it and, and squeeze out those old compensations, it really can make a difference to your game. Although you might help, hate, hate me for a few weeks for trying it, I guarantee you further down the line, a neutral grip uh, is always gonna be better. Okay, hope that helps. Hopefully see you soon. Uh, the weather's pretty, still pretty tragic. Um, but yeah, hopefully pop your face up and, uh, and we'd like to see you. Thank you.